Hey guys, today I'll be talking about what is arguably the best earphone money can buy. Then the earphones in front of you, this custom inner monitors are known as the JH13 Pro. They were released this year. And so far, everyone's thinking that they're a technological breakthrough. Now, first of all, there aren't your typical consumer earphones as you can see. So you cannot go to the store and um purchase these. You need to this is this requires a special ordering process in acquiring these earphones. These are built from the ground up to perfectly match your ear canal specific dimensions. As you can see how it's shaped, it basically it's it's fit to match my ear canal. So the way your ear the way your custom earphones turn out would not be pretty much the same as this. Like this this sound tube can go this way, it can go straight, it like all these all these little characteristics of the shape can greatly change between each user's ear canal. So think of your ear canal as your fingerprint. It's very much unique to everyone. Also, this these these earphones are not cheap. They will set your wallet back a thousand and ninety nine dollars, and that is only the base price of the earphone. It does not include the shipping or your ear impression costs. Shipping costs can range from twenty to thirty five dollars, depending on what service you chose, whether it be next day air or second day air. And the shipping carrier that JH Audio uses is UPS. Air impressions, on the other hand can range from twenty to a hundred dollars depending on your audiologist. Different audiologists have different prices so it's better that you, you check from a wide range of audiologists so you can get the best price. So you guys may be asking how do you obtain custom earphones? Okay here's how you do it. First you visit the website which is www.jhaudio.com. You'll then be greeted with these two options. This area right here is if you want to purchase a custom microphone for say if you're a pilot this is for when you want to purchase a custom earphone so we're going to click here you're then going to scroll down and click JHA store you're then going to click pro music and here are the list of available earphones that you can purchase JH5 being the entry level monitor JH7 is a step up you got the JH10 the JH10X3 Pro and the JH11 and then you have the JH13 which is the best custom earphone that you can pretty much buy out of all custom earphone companies and you, as you can see this may be this may be similar to ultimate ears lineup but the JH I mean the JH11 and the UE11 J, JH which stands for Jerry Harvey he is the founder of ultimate ears so he basically is the, the um, main guy behind the ultimate ears 11 and the ultimate ears 10 and he basically tells us his version of those are better and everyone is believing him because it's pretty much true the JH11 sounds better than the ultimate ears 11 the JH13 Pro is on a whole nother level there's nothing that competes with it it's it's basically the top of the best the best of the best the Bugatti of earphones so now when you finally choose what headphone I mean earphone you want to purchase you click buy now you then greet it with this page from here you can choose I mean actually it, it gives you a list of colors that they have that you can use for your custom shell you can choose a color that's not on the list but the chances of them having it are not as great as the colors that are on the list. Now you can choose your shell opacity which can either be translucent or solid. Your cord color which can either be clear or black. I recommend you choose black because with clear, with a clear cable color eventually your skin oil and other substances will make the cable turn a greenish color. The performance of the cable will remain the same. You get the same sound quality but the aesthetics of the cable will be will be reduced depending on what whether you like the green colorish or not. I personally would not like it, so I chose a black color. And I'll tell I don't I don't use the um the, 
the, the black cable that came with my earphones anymore. I got an aftermarket cable from No Audio. It's, it's the Loom series. I'll, I'll um, talk more about that in the next video. The cord length here, 14 inches being the standard length basically for if your iPod or MP3 player is in your pocket. 64 inches is for when you're using the, the custom earphones and you're basically home and you're using them on a dedicated um, amplifier and you want more freedom to move around, you choose 64 inches. 18 inches is say if you're strictly using these earphones to jog or whatever and you have your MP3 player or iPod on your shirt pocket or on your arm. Um, and you don't want a lot of wire dangling so you just get something that can the wire that precisely is made for that situation ambient vent over here is made for say you're using your custom earphones on the stage and you want to be able to hear the ambient noise the way they the way they create an ambient vent is when they, they basically drill an extra hole into the air canal I mean into the the custom air pieces and this hole allows ambient noise to like to um passively go through your custom air pieces so you can be able to so basically the noise isolation of the custom air pieces is non-existent and you, you can pretty much hear everything around you I personally recommend do not choose this option if you're going to use these earphones for personal critical or any kind of listening that, that is not on stage as this will greatly reduce the sound quality because you will have no sound isolation now the artwork over here you click here and it's like when you upload anything else, it'll come up with a window and basically you can scan your hard drive. But this is what you're going to do, you're going to look for the, the JPEG file of the artwork that you want embedded on your custom air pieces. So you just look for the JPEG file and then it'll get added in this box. And when you finally pay them with your credit card info and all that, all this gets sent, all this info gets sent along with the JPEG file. So they'll so you basically they'll begin to build your custom ear pieces along with that there's like a a special note box there's like a box where you can basically specifically type what you want specifically done to your custom ear pieces as in the aesthetics of it so once that's done you need to then go visit an audiologist now when you visit the audiologist now when you but first you need to schedule an appointment but after that is done They'll then check your ear canals to see if there's any earwax buildup. If there is, you need to go then visit an ENT doctor. ENT standing for ear, nose, and throat. And the procedure for an ENT doctor removing earwax buildup can cost $200, so this is not a cheap procedure. But I recommend you that you just get that out of the way just to um, avoid any inconvenience. But you can go check with the, audio the audiologist to see if your ear canals are in fact built up. But maybe they weren't built up. But if they weren't built up, the ENT doctor would probably have told you in the first place. But once that's out of the way, when when your ear when your ear canals are in fact clean, they'll start the procedure. This is this is what happens. They squirt a, um, a silicone liquid silicone type substance down your ear. It eventually hardens after five minutes, and then they take it out of your ear, and it's basically it, it it should keep the the imprint of your ear canal. If you drop these things, these things are kind of durable. So if you drop them, they should keep the um the shape. But I still recommend you when you're shipping it out to JH Audio to have them padded up just to be safe. Just to be on the safe side of things. So when you finally have this um when you finally ship your air impressions out, it should take it should take five days after JH Audio receiving them to finally build your earphones. And then when you finally get them. In, in the next in the next part of the video I'll show you what accessories that you get with it and all the other technical aspects of the earphone and all that other stuff so this part one of the video should be over right now and because I'm reaching the limitations of the YouTube I have to be under 10 minutes so thanks for watching guys stay tuned for part two